What is up guys, I'm Shine here, back episode 21 of my daily vlog. Things have been going smooth, just that my laptop is still dead. I know, bear with me. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep posting this kind of vlogs until I fix this problem. I have a lot of footage that I want to show you guys, a lot of footage that I actually shot over the past few days that I'll be compiling and releasing as soon as my laptop finds life again. So that aside. Let's talk about football. So yesterday was the match against Ballester Khalsa FC and Warriors FC which was played at Topayo Stadium. And guess what? It was in front of 1,975 fans. Yep, more than Haugang Stadium. I'm shocked by that, you know. Never thought that, you know, you'd be able to fill up Topayo Stadium with that many people. But, you know, things happen. So let's just hope the S League keeps rolling this way and more people come down for games and the support increases. So, on the field, uh, Ballester lost to Warriors, unfortunately. The only goal coming from Ballester was by Raihan Rahman in the 27th minute via penalty and Jordan Webb scoring one goal by penalty in the 49th minute and Shaiful Esa scoring in the 87th minute to seal the deal for Warriors FC. What is it with former Hong Kong United players scoring in the past few days? But let's not talk about what happened on the pitch now. Let's talk about the terraces. Let's talk about the fans. I was shocked to see that 1,975 people turning up at Topayo Stadium. Because really, to be honest, I never thought that it would happen uh, <laughs> this year. But, you know, when you think about it, it's kind of to be expected because, well, Balestier Kalsa signed three players from Myanmar. So, as we all know, the Burmese people, people from Myanmar, they are crazy about football, they live and breathe football. They are super passionate when it comes to football. So, like, 1,975, and out of all of that, about 100 of them were from Myanmar. 100 of them were Burmese people, man, who were supporting their own countrymen playing in the S-League. Singaporeans, wake up, what are you doing, man? I thought you love football, and if you really love football, you should actually just come down to the stadium and watch a local game. 100 over Burmese players singing their hearts out, supporting their countrymen, playing for a local club in Singapore. I guess Ballester did the right thing there. Um, what we can learn from this is that, you know, we really should start you know, supporting our own local football. Talk about Thailand and stuff. Years ago, Thai players wanted to come to S-League to play. Now look at us. We want to go overseas to play there. So. This speaks a lot about the quality of the league here and I, my, my only wish is to see that the S-League improves and it becomes more competitive not only in the pitch but on, in the stands as well because it'll be more fun for us. Anyway, that aside, let's talk about on Friday. There'll be a live telecast match. Tampines Rovers vs Haugang United kicks off at 7.45. Uh, you can catch it on TV if you like it. But I really, I really suggest you guys come down to the stadium to actually embrace and witness the atmosphere. But unfortunately, I won't be able to be there because of other commitments. Friday is also the first day of the National Pencak Silat Championships, which my younger brothers are going to be a part of. And I will be vlogging that event as well. I'm at a crossroads here. I'm also working in the afternoon. So... I won't be able to make it to both but I will keep you guys updated in my vlog so just keep a lookout for that so that's all the time I have for today I hope you guys like this vlog if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for for those of you who have subscribed millions of thanks don't forget to like this video if you liked it comment down below what do you think should the FAS do or the S-League do to you know make local football great again I'm Amshah Hanif signing out Ciao